Did we like it? Guess you have to wait and see. Hey, everybody. What is good? This is your guy, Taz with Taz in Philly. Came here to give you what you come here for. Reactions. Um, this is a reaction to the amazing Angelina Jordan. Um, we reacted to her many times. If you've been on this channel for a while, or you can go to the playlist if you're new. Um, it might be around 20, 20 plus songs maybe of Angelina Jordan. Um, she's just so special in every way. So I just love everything about her. So this is a song, another song that I, we haven't reacted to yet called A Million Years Ago. Um, I don't know if it's her original song or not, uh, but it'll be new to me. So let us know in the comments because it doesn't say on here if it's a cover or anything so that the title doesn't ring a bell to me so let me know who sings this or is this her original song um so it's called a million years ago we'll find out soon um we represent music appreciation on this channel so please make sure that you support these musicians um i always say imagine if it was you because to me that's the simplest way to make you say oh that makes sense so if you're not able to purchase her music then please do the gift of free. Um, if you see here, this is on. She, I know she has a, many different uh, YouTube channels. So I know we re um, we're subscribed on her Angelina Jordan official channel. This one's called Angelina Jordan Cover Channel, which is new to me. So I'm going to subscribe to that and I'm going to hit like. So I'll make sure I have this one, but I will have her original one in the channel i mean in the descriptions rather so this way you can go and support her directly that's what we always encourage first to support the artist first if you don't mind and then support us second so please go to us and subscribe to us please and like and comment to us we really appreciate that um sometimes i love simplistic videos you can tell by looking at this before i even hit play she's just sitting there in a chair with her guitars right next to her nothing in the background it's stark it's just simplistic and that's fine as long as it as long as the song can give you a message or make you feel good in any type of way to me it's done its job i don't get me wrong i love movie uh, i love videos with bells and whistles and the videos look like they cost a million bucks but i also love videos that look like they cost 17 cents which is probably this one but that's okay because again if the music and the song moves you it's done its job simple as that so let's hear what this song is all about and i'll commentate more afterwards so here we go i only wanted to have fun learning to fly running to run i left my heart inside the way and i Deep down, I must have always known that this would be inevitable to learn my stripes have to pay and bear my soul. Where I 
grew up and found my feet They can't look me in the eye It's like they scared of me I tried to think of things to say Like a joke or memory But they don't recognize me now In the light of day I love the little ending. Bye. That was like the little girl and her came out again. You know what? I love this song before I forget. So this was an interesting song because I had to tell my brain, like, she's not singing this song based on her own personal experience. But and I'm saying that because it's a song that has to deal with a lot of years going by. It says like one of the lyrics, you know, I watch all the years go by. I'm like, she's just a little girl. She doesn't have to be any years so far. So Sometimes it's funny the song wouldn't match her specifically because she's a young girl. Like she has no nostalgia much um, and no years that have passed her by and it feels like it's a million years ago at her young tender age. So that was a little joke in my head, um, even though I know this wasn't a song about her own personal experiences. But that being said, because I wanted to mention that. Um, let us know as you thought of that too. If you if you said that, like, oh, this is so cute. She's talking about love and stuff, and she hasn't been old enough. Let us know if you thought about that. Um, the song itself, though, is is another relatable song that you know people with more years on them can relate to. And you know how I always say sometimes when you hear Angelina that she has that um timeless voice that you can teleport and stuff. So it's almost funny because here this is a song about nostalgia, about somebody reminiscing about their relationship and people in their lives a long time ago, comparing it to now, um, you're feeling that juxtaposition and it doesn't feel like the the love and the strength and the longevity is just as, as powerful as it was back then. Um, things have changed and things have gotten um, a little bit more, I guess, watered down in the love and the, the love and the meaningful department. And that can happen to many people in life. You know, many people fall out of love or many or it could be a, a situation where many people, let's say years ago, you didn't have much going on in your life. But then now you have so much going on in your life that you just completely forgot about all the people that you loved and cared about and hung out with. So it's kind of like been watered down with all the extra things that are going on. And that happens to people. Whether it's intentionally or unintentionally, it still happens. So it's a very realistic. Up oh, must be a fantastic trying to call me. So that's a very realistic experience, um, and it's saddening because sometimes if you realize it, it might be too late and you can't like get the love back once. Or it could be a situation where you know it's just because of the fact that you're older. Some things you can't do. Like let's say when you were younger, you would take walks in the park and then maybe now you can't walk as long in a park or whatever the case may be. So there's so many things you could compare it to, but it's still a very beautiful and humbling song. 
Um, and she just sang it eloquently. She was just so adorable. Let us know who the guitarist is. If you've been watching us, I'm changing people. If you watch this uh, channel long enough, you know I love the sound of a good acoustic guitar. It just teleports me to a nice, tranquil place. And he was playing very, very well. I don't recognize his face. Is he a famous guitarist who happened to collab with Angelina? Or is he just someone that, I guess, you know, they hired to do it with him? Or is he a relative or something? I don't know. Please let me know because I always like to know who's all on screen. Um, but I loved it. Beautiful, beautiful again. Um, such a tender song. Let us know, too, because I just thought, is there a reason Angelina picked this song? Like, does she pick songs? Do you know, like, oh, I want to do this song. I want to do that song. Or do you know, like, if someone asked her, hey, would you do this song? I would like to know that. That would be really cool to know. So if you know that, please let us know in the comments. So thank you. Um, but beautiful job, Angelina. I just wish you the best. You're just a bright light in this dark world sometimes. So thank you. But um, in any event, this is the part of our show. We always do our thumbs up, pass if we like a song. Thumbs down, ass if we don't. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. And thumbs up to the guitarist. He was there, too, doing his thing. <laughs> in any event, this is Taz with Taz in Philly, and I want you all to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>